Rotaries are cool and all, but they are not that popular amongst manufacturers. Sure, they have some pros, but the cons almost always outweigh the benefits. Some of them still made it to the world and come to diversify this business with a bit of uniqueness. Today let's see some of the coolest sounding single cylinders. OS Engines As one of the leading companies in small glow plug units, OS Engines has a very long tradition of building tiny model engines that actually work. They are known for great performance and reliability, whether it is a 2, 4 stroke or a Winkel. Produced under NSU license, OS has been making rotaries since 1970, single and twin rotors. XRO XR50 Wolfie Engineering takes care of development of XRO rotary engines. They are around 300cc, are single rotors and burn a 2% premix of gasoline and oil. They are said to be more powerful, reliable and fun than two strokes banned due to emissions. The XRO engines have a vacuum controlled secondary inlet valve at 5500rpm. <laughs> B single. Although produced during the same time, the 13B has nothing in common with the 13A other than the rotary principle. The 13B has wider rotors by 20mm and was meant for real drive configurations. These were both naturally aspirated and turbocharged and there are some DIY projects with the half of the original 13B size. Sachs Single Sachs is a big name between automobiles as a motorcycle manufacturer, part supplier and engine builder. They have a number of Wenkel engines in the history made from smaller unit to bigger ones. One such is the KM48 with bridge ported intake and peripheral exhaust port. Suzuki RE5 The Suzuki was one of those who built their own licensed Winkle engine. The RE5 is a conventional roadster with a design by Giugiaro using a rather unconventional rotary unit. It is a peripheral ported engine which uses water and oil coolers alongside a thin primary exhaust chamber cooled by air as the temperature right there reaches over 900 degrees of Celsius. <laughs> Hercules W2000. Although not that exciting or impressive at the time, 
This bike is an interesting one today. The engine came from Saks as a parent company and overtook Suzuki as the first rotary production bike. The KM914 unit came from a snowmobile and was placed longitudinally. <laughs> Saks Dolmar KMS4. This is something truly special. A chainsaw. A home tool that is powered by a rotary unit. It has a very small engine that on the other hand is plenty powerful. The Dolmar chainsaw is a very rare piece sold by collectors willing to pay hundreds and perhaps even a thousand or two for it. Besides, Yanmar once also created a 33cc rotary chainsaw. <laughs> Hercules 502GS. Besides a naked, Hercules also produced a dirt bike with a rotary. The KC31 engine used was paired to a 6 or 7 speed gearbox left after a Sax 2 stroke through a bevel gear as it was mounted longitudinally. It's hard to find any because they sold poorly due to high price. <laughs> Oh, my God. 